हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेसिको सर्विस नॉ लर्निंग सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ रोड मैप to become a service not developer so in this video we are going to talk about each and everything you should know if you are looking to become a service not developer so let's see what all things we are going to talk in this video so the first thing is qualification means what qualification is required then the experience required to become a service not developer what all skills are required what all certifications are required and how to do hands on from where you will get the content to study from where you have to start means what you have to do if you want to become a service not developer right so we are also going to talk about each and everything you should know to become a service not developer so let's first talk about qualification so the person must have a degree in computer science or we can say a bachelor in computer science or a masters in computer science if we talk about india then in india we have a degrees in computer science like btech it btech cs mca bca etc now let's see what is the experience required here to become a service not developer so the information which i am shared over here is basically from my experience in service not development so i found that for freshers like it would difficult to become a service not developer directly because the openings which we see uh, basically for experienced people so if the person have experience like 1 or 1.5 plus years of experience in service now will help you to get a job in service not development so the experience in service now means that it can be into service not administration it can be into service not support service not testing it can be into service not business analyst the only required thing along with experience is that that you must have basic knowledge of service now development skills so in this video we are also going to talk about that how you will get a knowledge a basic knowledge of service now development but for freshers uh, i can say it's a better luck that through campus you directly get a placement in service now company and believe me if you directly get placed in a service not company from the campus you will be getting a much higher package and a decent package from service now or through campus if you get a placement in a company who align you to a service not development project right but if you are not basically placed from the campus and you are a fresher then it will be a bit hard time for you in case if you are looking a job in service not development there is a possibility that you have some uh, people those who can refer you based on your technical skills in a uh, company where the service not development work is going on that can also be a chance right so you can try that so friends let's say if you are a fresher or you have experience of 1 or 1.5 years or more than that or you are in other technology and you are uh, looking for a job into service not development then feel free to message me or you can dm me on facebook right so what i'll do uh, we i speak to you i'll provide you possible scenarios possible ways like to uh, learn the things to get job into service not development believe me i will help you on that part now let's see what all skills are required to become a service not developer there are two kinds of skills that is technical skills and other is non technical skills so if we talk about technical skills then you must have knowledge of javascript you must have basic knowledge of angular js because angular js is used when people do coding for service portal so there it is required then you have knowledge of markup language like xml and html you must have basic knowledge of css and you must have basic knowledge of cloud computing the non technical skills which is required over here is that you must have a good communication skill you have problem solving skills right and you must have basic knowledge of agile concepts so let's talk about the certification required to become a service now developer so certification is not mandatory for freshers or even for experienced professional what i have seen as per my experience that so some companies need but most of the companies are not looking for it they only look for required skills what i have mentioned in the skill area but 
if you're trying to enter in service not development then certified system administrator that is csa and itl v4 certification will definitely help you it will help in shortlisting of your resume even though if you are doing a certified system administrator certification you must be doing uh, the on demand course or an instructor led course course which is offered by service now nowadays there is some offer is going on from service now site where they are offering this certification for free for a particular limited period of time and i also have shared one video where you can find that how you can check whether that offer is going on or not in service now now let's talk about the how to start means what to study what to do to acquire all those skills which you need for service now development along with that what to study so let's see so the first thing you have to do is that you have to create a service now personal developer instance so service now provide a particular developer instance to each and every uh, professional for free to do hands on uh, so there is a video in my channel where you can find that how you can create a personal developer instance that is basically a platform available for you where you can like develop the things for free the another thing is that figure out the topic to study let's say you have you want to become a service not developer right so what all topics you need to study so for that i am sharing a link in the description below where you can find all the content one by one which you have to study to do hands on or to get service now basic development skills apart from this there are two most important things which is shared by service now only that are service now talks where you find each and everything related to each and every topic then you have service now community so let's say if you are facing any problem while doing uh, any development while doing hands on for a specific topic you can find the solution in service now community even though you can also ask question in that community now you have another way to learn the things that is youtube channel so one of the channel is mine that is basic service now learning apart from this service now also has its own channel in youtube and there are lots of other channels to learn service now in youtube for free other than youtube channel there are udemy courses available that is in very nominal prices let's say for 450 or 500 or 550 rupees uh, for a particular course you can also opt that to get more understanding on service now topics after doing all this stuff there are interview questions also available in different websites even though in my website too what you can do you can one by one you can like uh, practice all the interview questions then it will definitely help you to crack the service now interview so if you will cover all these things believe me you will definitely crack the interview for the experience you are looking for in service now so while studying uh, service now topics or you need any information related to service now you can email me at basic service now learning at the gmail.com i will try to answer each and everything you ask me even though you can also ask question by commenting below so friends if you think that this video is helpful for you then please like share and subscribe please share it with people those who are looking for a service not developer role and if you feel that this video is not helpful it is not giving you any information then please provide the suggestions and feedback in the below comment section so that i can try something uh, uh, helpful for people and for more service related topics you can visit my website that is www.basicoservicenowlearning.in and you can email your queries to the below email id i'll try to answer all your questions thank you friends have a nice day bye bye